Well, hello everyone, I'm Nasmus, and today I'm here to show you something really awesome that uh, has r happened recently, uh, and that is installing Microsoft Office uh, 365 applications offline. Until recently, uh, if you're a subscriber of Office 365 Home Premium uh, Student or a University or Business, or no, not Business, but any of the consumer Office 365 offerings, you had to go online and use an on web installer, like online installer to install Microsoft Office. That is like you had to like stay connected while each all of the apps downloaded and installed. And if you had like five computers, you had to do it f five, you have to like uh, be online and re-download office for five computers individually you couldn't like download an offline setup file and you couldn't just put them on all your computers but now it changes now this all changes today or not today but recently so I'm going to go to office.com and if you're a subscriber uh, uh, for a consumer uh, version of office such as home premium or uh, university or personal uh, all you have to do is sign in uh, type in your Microsoft account and then you should be able to type in your password and off you go and we click here and click my account click on your avatar and then click my account and you should be taken to your uh, account page where you'll have the option to install Microsoft Office and here you'll see all the install uh, uh, all the computers in which Microsoft Office is installed. To get the offline installer, you have to click Languages and Other Options. The off the off offline installer downloads a special Office file, so you could install Office later when you're offline. You can install Office on the same computer or on other computers. Both 32-bit and 64-bit versions are included. To use Office after install, you have to sign in with uh, at the prompt and activate it. Just sign in with your Microsoft account. So I have downloaded office beforehand so you don't have to wait uh, the download was a 2.5 2.25 gigabytes I believe because it co includes both 32 bit and 64 bit version in the same image file so I downloaded this beforehand so you could see what it's like so this is what you get office 365 home premium retail uh, I think if you're using the personal you'd get personal retail but uh, because I'm using university it says office 365 home premium retail so all you have to do is double click on the um, uh, disk image if you're using Windows 7 uh, you would need to use uh, uh, you need to either burn it to disk or burn it to a USB or download a software uh, that can that can mount an ISO file or a image file onto your PC so that that would be good it's the file or uh, image file as a disk drive a virtual disk drive on my computer and, uh, and this is what you get inside the disk you have the setup file and auto run. I think from my experience this setup file is actually set up for the 32-bit version but I'm gonna check. I'm gonna double click this yeah you have the actually I'm gonna cancel this I'm gonna go to the 64-bit version oh crap okay <laughs> the problem with the Office 365 Uh, the problem with installing a uh, double cleaning the setup file in Office is that you are forced to uh, it, it automatically starts the install without prompting you. So now that I install the 32-bit version, I have to wait for this installer to finish and then uninstall the uninstall the existing version of Office and uh, install the 64-bit ver version instead. Well, that that was lame. But yeah, you ha I'm offline and installing offline, and you can see it jumped to 22 percent. Yeah, so there you go. I'll uh, I'll close the recording right now, and I'm, when when this is done, I'll show you what this looks like. Okay, so the installation finished just really quickly. It been less than a minute, or I think a couple minutes since I stopped the recording. is 22 percent. Just finished really quickly because I didn't have to do anything from the web. It just uh, downloaded from my hard disk and it, you get a notification that says installation finished finished your office product is now completely installed you can now go to uh, go offline or shut sh uh, shut down so there you go that's that's it and you have this message here your office is installed now click start and uh, all apps so there you go so I inadvertently installed the 32-bit version of Microsoft Office unfortunately so I'm gonna have to uninstall this and um, 
reinstall the 64-bit version. But yeah, so that is uh, what it is. Uh, oh, by the way, I just realized uh, when you're on the web, uh, I, I said you have to go to your account option right there. Uh, click here, account to install. But I just realized there's a nice uh, install button, install office button that uh, takes you to the install page. And right here is all your online apps. So you could just click here and this will take you to the same page we talked about earlier where you have the option to install well I guess this is it I guess I'll wor launch Microsoft Word and see what it looks like and there's Microsoft Word I'll activate this I'll activate this after because I'm gonna have to uninstall this and reinstall the 64-bit version but yeah so there you have it Microsoft Office installed and fully ready to go. Have a good one, guys.